Hey guys, Michael Griffiths here from Referral Marketing Guru. Hope you're doing fantastic. All is well in your world. I had a really interesting conversation and there's a few things like this that are taking place. So I thought, hey, let's share. Um, it sort of annoys me, but it doesn't. And uh, I sort of laugh, but I wish people would do something different about it. So let's jump into it. So I was having a conversation this morning with, with a friend and friend goes, hey, there's a whole bunch of retrenchments that are about to take place. So they're an employee of, of, of a big company and I go, oh, well, that's so good. Are you likely to be retrenched or, you know, oh, don't really know. Don't know if, I'm, if it's my department or not or, yeah, really up in the air and we're not going to really find anything out for a little while. So, I went, oh, okay. So what are the plans if you do happen to get retrenched? What, what are you going to do? What, is, what are you starting to think about or ask yourself for? And the response really sort of blew me away. So here we were just sort of talking, um, talking to a friend, might get retrenched, might not, don't know. But there was no thinking. They hadn't asked themselves logical questions of, hey, if we do happen to lose our job, then what are we going to do next? It was like, let's just do nothing for the next couple of weeks, see what happens, and then we'll worry about it after that. And it's like, but you're in control. And that's probably the big thing that continues to uh, frustrate me when I talk to people is realize you are in control of changing any circumstance that you are in right now. If you're not happy with the circumstance, no matter what it is in life or business, you can change it. So when you know that you can change any circumstance just by thinking logically and probably asking yourself some better questions, then all of a sudden, isn't that what we should be doing? So I come back to, to our friend and I say, so if things don't work out, what is it you're going to do? And they're like, oh, well, I don't really know. So I started posing some questions. I said, let's just go, worst case scenario, you get retrenched. Are there other companies that need your skill set? Are there other things that you'd like to do? What is it that you might be able to go down the path of? The thing is, when you ask yourselves good questions, all of a sudden you can find solutions. But if you don't ask yourself good questions because you're caught up in the emotion or you're caught up in the, uh, the drama of it, then very rarely will you ask yourself the questions that allow you to find solutions. So I had a bit of a chuckle last week. So here's a person who reaches out and says, oh, we get one lead, two leads, leads um, the most a week. And I need it to be about 10. Okay, okay, great. So what sort of things are you doing right now? And they go through the things that they're doing. I can see why they get one, two leads a week. So I share the things that they should be doing. And then I share, well, hey, we could help you be able to do this, this, this. Oh, that sounds great. That would be wonderful. Let me have a think about it. And I stop and I go, well, hold on, you've got a problem. Now there is a solution. What is it to think about? You either want a solution or you don't want a solution. And that's just one example. The best thing I think I ever did when in business was to go, what do I need other people to help me with? So straight away, we got people to do our books. We got an accountant to look after the ATO and tax and all of that stuff. We got people who were skilled at what it is they do to do other things for us, or at least to be able to show us the right way to do other things. So you can't say, I'm hopeless at this, or I need this, but then not do anything about it. Because there's always solutions to be able to do things about it. Now, you might not have funds which you think stops you. Well, it doesn't have to stop you. There are other ways you can do things. But it comes back to, don't settle if you're not happy with an area of your business, don't settle for, oh, well, I have to put up with it. Because you don't. 
you can quite easily change anything that's going on right now in an instant. You have to ask yourself better questions and then accept the solutions that come up. I think we look rather silly. And when I say we, I'm talking about me. And I remember this from about a good 18 months ago. And we had a person who really could help us. I went, oh, that's absolutely brilliant. It's exactly what I need. That would save me so much time, effort, if we just got their solution. But what did I do? Nothing. And I asked myself the same question four months later and seven months later until finally I said, what are you doing? This person is about to save you a whole bunch of time and effort that you could be spending in other areas of your life. Why has it taken you seven months to finally work it out in your own head? So the theme here and what I want us to really be able to think about here is what right now do you have the ability to go, hey, I don't need to be doing that or I'm not good at that or my time is better spent doing something else. But if you don't ask the right questions, if the questions you are asking are not logical and if you get given solutions and you choose not to take it, ask yourself, why am I not taking it? What is it really that's stopping me? Are you really just trying to sabotage yourself? Or are you not ready to take that leap of faith? Whatever it is, there's a reason and you've got to ask yourself, what is that reason? Now, if it becomes to be a silly reason like mine was, well, don't waste eight months of your life to get the solution. Get it sooner. But if there is a reason, work through it. What I'd love, if you're watching this right now, Omar, Denise, Cal, Matt, great to have you guys on here. If you're watching this now, watching this as a, a, uh, as a recording, just simply ask yourself, what am I doing that I shouldn't be doing? What solutions could I find that allow me to get more time back? I'm a huge believer that successful people in business, they spend money to get back time. We've got an amazing team around us. That's money so well spent so I can get back time. And that time isn't just to sit around to do nothing. That time means that we can be more engaging with our tribe. We can help more people. I can focus on the things that we're great at rather than doing little things that aren't any good for us. But ask yourself, what are you doing now that really there's a better solution for? What are you lacking right now in your business that you could find a solution for? Where could you get back more time in your business? See, they're all logical questions that if you actually ask yourself, you might come up with better ways than what you're currently doing. And if there's not better ways, that's fine. At least you've asked yourself the right questions. But don't. Don't go, I need this solution, and then do nothing about it. Because it can't be anything worse. I need more leads. But I'm not going to do anything about it. I need better bookkeeping. But I'm not going to do anything about it. I need a better way to be able to sell my programs. But I'm not going to do anything about it. See, how silly does that seem? Don't be one of those people. Ask yourself better questions and find good solutions. That's what I want you to do. Hey, thanks for jumping on. Hopefully it's been helpful. Might stir the pot a little bit. And look forward to, thank you, Rosie. Uh, look forward to being able to hopefully catch up with you guys soon. Have a brilliant day. It's my Wednesday. Um, really excited. I've got coming up, uh, about to do a, an interview with a real good friend over in Huntington Beach in LA. Uh, absolute genius around 
uh, front end lead generation. And so we're going to do a recording in the next half an hour or so. Look forward to sharing that out to our networks. I said, um, this guy's absolute genius and uh, have learned so much from them. So when we get that ready, we will get that out to you guys also to be able to have a bit of a look and, and share it. But otherwise, um, if you're over here in Australia, have a fantastic Wednesday. If you're over there in the US, have a brilliant uh, Tuesday afternoon. If you're there over in the UK, have a brilliant night. And look forward to catching up with you real soon. Take care, everyone.